Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's uh, let's start on the Elite Four. Let's do the fire one, assuming this is actually the fire one. It doesn't look all that red to me. Blazing Chamber, okay, at least there's a a point to back out in case I got it wrong. The Blazing Chamber? <laughs> Whoa! <Whoa! 420. laughs> Are you sure this isn't Chamber 420? <laughs> that's how many they went through before they finalized on this design. Oh man, that's incredibly dangerous. Oh my god, that's incredibly dangerous! <laughs> yeah, you can say that for all four of these uh, chambers coming up. I don't think my hat should be touching that. Alright. Yeah, how's it going? So... So you just openly admit that you're part of what is now clearly known as like a doomsday cult, right? Am I allowed to say doomsday cult? <laughs> I don't know you if I'm allowed to say that. Gone. And video demonetized. Oh, great. <laughs> we talked about the weed number. Yeah, well, in Deadly Premonition- I never Premonition... said what that was in reference to. Like, I, I, the video got demonetized <laughs> for something else. Probably not about the, the cult thing. Wow, that's a hell of a pompadour. Also, um, I, I, I played Deadly Premonition 2 on the show in which Zack actually smokes weed on in the game, and they call it that, and it's still fully monetized. And it's canceled. But I bet you anything if you actually depict depicted the smoking of weed IRL in it, or said you were smoking during it, I bet you'd get demonetized for that, even though in the game they can do it. Okay, okay, but how is your monetization status on the De Deus Ex episode where they talk about Siga weed? <laughs> it's fine, actually. The Siga weed <laughs> episode is fine. Should we just start calling it Siga weed from now on? <laughs> All right, so Siga welcome to the Siga weed chamber. Brandon, did we ever tell you about Siga weed? No. <laughs> okay. Me and Wada Geek, like a year ago, were let's playing uh, Deus Ex uh, Human Revolution? Uh, yes. I always forget the subtitles of the games. We're going to get back to that one day because it's a really fun game. But <laughs> we were going through the first, like, the first, like, dungeon of the game, I guess you'd call it. The first major area. And it's, like, a, a bunch of bad people w of the word I can't say have taken over a building. Wow, that's a smaller, Torkoal's smaller than I thought it'd be. Um, they took it over, and so I was stealthing through, so you hear a lot of, like, idle chatter of the grunts talking to each other. And they were mm -hmm. talking about how they're like, oh man, pass the Siga weed, and it just broke <laughs> me. Siga <laughs> weed. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I can't. Oh, yeah, dog, pass the Siga weed. Siga <laughs> weed. Oh. <laughs> I've thought of so many things that you can call it to get around YouTube. I, I've thought like, okay, if I'm playing Rimworld, you can call it Smoke Leaf. Uh, you you could call it uh, if you're playing Dwarf Fortress, you can call it uh, Cave Wheat, because we make so many jokes about that. Um, me and Truth do. But no, uh, no Sigaweed. That's that's the best one. <laughs> it has, Sigaweed. It's got the fucking word in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Lapras is down. Talon flame is flying, so we can't just use um, earthquake to, just a rock to destroy uh, it. Oh yeah, rock head or whatever it's called. Head smash. Head smash. Sure, yeah. Rock head. Rock head's the thing that prevents you from taking damage from head smash. Oh, that's an ability, right? Not an item. Yeah. Okay. Is there an item that reduces recoil damage? Mm, I feel like there should be, but I don't think there is. That's kind of how I feel, too. I think I would know it if there is one, but it kind of feels like there is one. Okay, well, that hurt a lot. Uh, Chandelure is ghost and fire. I can earthquake. Or I or could... Or head smash again. Or I can head smash again. Mm, I'm going to head smash again. I got revives. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, that's fun. We we have uh, we have street sharks. There we go. And yeah, one earthquake will probably do it. Wish I had soft sand. There is not an item that prevents recoil damage. Oh wow, we crit. 
No item that prevents recoil. I guess maybe they thought it'd be too strong. But there are items that you can get that will balance it out, obviously. Oh, hey, like look leftover. at that. Oh. Brave Bird. Yeah, also it's going to be easy. way stronger than uh, than Fly. Do we? But then we can't teleport. Uh, it's a good nuke. Did we actually want to learn it on Talonflame? Well, how much use would be you be getting out of Steel Wing? A None. good point. I don't think we've really been using it, have we? No, no. fuck it, Brave Bird. We either use Flame Charge or Fly. We do also have a Sky Plate, too, which uh, makes it even stronger. In Gen 6, Talonflame was a monster because its hidden ability is called Gale Wings, and it gives priority to any flying-type move. So imagine oh. that with Brave Bird. Hmm. She's world famous and also part of a doomsday cult publicly. I don't know if she's publicly a part of Team Flare. I think she hints at you that she was part of Team Flare by saying, oh, you took down the big bad Team Flare. Oh. Look at you. Okay. I thought she was uh -huh. directly saying it. Y you passed up the revives. I did? Oh, yes, I did. Sorry, I've got a lot in my inventory. Wish I could skip that little animation. No, you have right, to watch the help up to a decent number. We got one down. I noticed she had four Pokemon, so I guess this is truly Yanova. Yanova? Yanova? Yanova style. Where, uh. Let's do water next. Really is Yanova style, where there's, uh. Only four Pokemon in each person, and you can pick what order to fight them in. But is it going to be that style where there's two final bosses after? I don't know. No, nah, just the one. Man, there's a chance we beat the game this session. Well, you'll beat the main plot this session, probably, but there is some post-game content if you're interested. Yeah, I'm interested in at least, like, maybe I'll track down the legendaries or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll catch them, but I at least kind of well, want you, to see them. You have one of them. There's also additional plot. Also, you're oh, dead Jesus. now. You drowned. Yeah, I, I just died. Oh, now it just looks like a water temple from like Zelda. So the, Cal the Kalos Pokemon League, by the way, is uh, a stage in Smash, like ever since the Wii U version. I remember playing it in in the Switch one. Yeah. I remember, um, I remember always getting hit by the swords. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's actually a tournament legal stage if the hazards are off. Do you think Pokemon battling can ever be worthy of being called an art? No. Uh, no. <laughs> this is okay, just for flavor. Okay. You, you don't need... So... Like, it doesn't matter. I'm thinking about this, like... So I'm thinking about this shoot, right? Like, this is in-world, Pokemon's real. Yep. If Pokemon <laughs> battling is real, if this is a shoot, is it art? Because we know that if it's a work, it's art. Because this is a video game, and video games are art, and games are in general, are art, you know, chess is art, and there's also an art to strategy. Art's that very word broad. That like a word anymore. I know, right? So if it if it's a work, then yes, it's art. If it's shoot, which it is in the world of Pokemon, which is what my character is answering in, it still falls under strategy. So yeah, I guess it's art. Yeah. I would have just said no. Disappears as soon as it's completed. No, it's it's actually there, and you can like take pictures, and you can like eat it, and you can yeah, give it to people. Can it disappears as soon as you eat it. Yeah, yeah. Not when it's completed. Okay, yeah. Pokemon battles being an art disappearing after it's done. Nuh uh I've cataloged one of my favorite battles, and that was with Santa's Deli Bird. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, video, videos are art. That's that's a creative work of, wow, that looks pixelated and weird. Yeah, Whoa, what so is that. Whoa! I think, it's the water. I think it's the water that's messing everything up. I think it is. I think it had to lower the, uh, the, the bit rate or something going on. I don't know. It's like the anti-aliasing just exploded. <laughs> that's fine. I'm going to blame the emulator more than the game on that. Okay, I get the feeling this is going to be a fast one, isn't it? Come on, what do you got? Okay, the actual light screen. That was smart. That looks really cool, actually. But will it be enough? Yes. <gasps> Just barely, yeah. 
All right, he's gonna heal, but keep Giga draining anyway. Yeah. At least make him use both of his full restores on just Stormy. And it also takes out a couple of turns of light screen in the process. Does anybody remember how well I'm doing on, um, Jesus, these four stars. How well I'm Ethers doing on, like, yeah, Ethers, Elixirs. Uh, you've got a few, so it doesn't really matter if you need to restore Giga Drain eventually. There we go. I timed it out just right. I figured he wouldn't be using another one, so I switched to... Wow, he crit me. So I switched to Sludge Bomb to finish it? Hell yep. yeah. There you go. Save it well, on that power points. would have been bad if he lived. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it would have. Nice. 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 <laughs> um, <gasps> is yeah, he going to be faster than me? He might be. S switch anyway, because uh, uh, the last thing that he's going to send out, Rose Ready could probably take, even at low health. Uh, I would recommend either you. Lapras. I was going to say either Lapras or Tyrantrum for this. Why Tyrantrum? It's got head smash and Gyarados is part flying. Right. Yeah. Good idea. Okay. I'll flying. give it a try. Unfortunately, though... It does have Intimidate. Yes. Do you think I'll be faster? Uh, I don't know, but he probably won't be able to take you out in a single hit. You think Water Onyx is strong enough to take you down? Well, between my recoil and him using, like, Surf... Okay, didn't happen. We're good. Ooh. God, yeah. that really is serious recoil. Our stat games are pretty good. Light screen finally wore off. All right, yeah, switch into uh, right. I think you're faster. Barbarical. Isn't that the Pokemon that I thought was boring and I always forget what it is? Well, you'll see in a sec. <laughs> oh, no, that's something different. That's weird as hell. It kind of looks like a like a, a fan-made Digimon. A little <laughs> bit, yeah. <laughs> it, actually, yeah, you know what? It's <laughs> also a hand is a little bit disconcerting. Does it look a little Pokemon Uranium to you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Little Just bit. a little. Looks a little tight and nice. <laughs> Maybe a little tight and nice, yeah. Yeah. Like, you don't want to you don't want to go tight and nice. You don't want to look tight and nice. What's going on with that wall? Why is it vibrating? Oh, I didn't notice that before. I think it's supposed to be like the water ripple effect, <laughs> but we're not supposed to actually see like around and past <laughs> it to see that the way they did it was by making the actual wall vibrate. <laughs> and once again, we have waterlogged our shoes. If you went down an elevator there, you would have flooded the rest of the gym. Well, maybe it'll help put out the raging fire going on in the other room. There we go. Oh, jeez. That or the entire building is going to be billowing steam now, and everybody needs to get the fuck out already. I also like that when you leave the rooms, you close the door. I'm very polite. <laughs> You, like, lock them in. Sorry, was that room to the left dark, or was it psychic? Uh, it's dragon. Dragon. Uh, Roserade is Rose fine, Rose is still good. Yeah. I don't remember who she leads with, but I feel like it's actually a Pokemon that will resist fairy. <gasps> a fighting <Let's>... dragon? <laughs> no, it's no, gonna take more damage to I fairy. More damage. Uh, a steel dragon? <laughs> uh, that would also, that would resist fairy, yeah. Yeah. But I don't think I don't think that exists outside of Dialga at this point in the game. Is there oh. a fighting dragon? Uh in Gen 7 there is. Uh what is it? Like it's uh it's like a Komodo dragon kinda, but also based on like a dinosaur type thing. It's Does themed it have after boxing gloves? Uh, no, but it's themed after monks, like Chinese monks, I think. Okay, it's, okay. It's got like the uh oh what is it? Its scales are kind of fan shaped, and they they make like a clanging sound. The one that has like the armor on it. Yeah, I I, I don't know how to describe it because I'm not big on my uh, like understanding of how monk culture works. I just really want the uh, there to be a fighting dragon that is. Oh, that looks like ass too. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Okay, just that's and just how it is. Seen. What the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> is that a water dragon? It's it's like a poison seahorse. I I genuinely it it could be like a Final Fantasy VIII regular enemy for all I know. 
Uh, it evolves Ooh. from a Y exclusive Pokemon called Skrelp, which is, I, I think it, it's a poison water type. This one's poison dragon. Uh, it, it had to do with like getting poisoned by seaweed or something. I don't know. My Again, Pokedex lore, not very, I don't have yeah, much understanding about it. It's probably like a reference to some deep sea creature. Mm -hmm. uh, Altaria. Dragon is still fine. What is it? Dragon and flying Lap uh, ice. Lapras. Ice. Yeah. Yeah. Dis disguised by its shape, Skrelp pretends to be a piece of seaweed. Okay. So it's it's a natural camouflage then. When prey get too close, Skrelp bathes in its poison to keep them from uh, to keep it from struggling. That was beautiful. Altaria totally whiffed it on uh, Sing. Imagine missing a sound move. At level 99, Skrelp evolves into Flump, the other thing you won't use. <laughs> oh, no! She has a shiny Drudagon. Oh, we're fucked. I'm going to beat it with my lowest level Pokemon. Because this Drudagon, it looks like shit, and so it must be shit. Oh. Mm. Oh, you're dead. Uh, isn't that bonus damage if I just took out one of his teammates? Oh, never mind. Oh. I forgot. Oh, it's okay. You forgot. Dredagon sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that we exclusively beat it with dick shots. <laughs> Yay. Oh, uh, uh, Noivern. Noivern, that's a bat, right? Yeah. Yeah, dragon flying. I didn't know that it was a dragon. Yeah. I kind of like it. I like its stereo head. Makes me yeah. think of, uh, what's it called? Loudred? Loudred. Loudred. Yeah. I was oh, honestly like... expecting that to kill, but sure. <laughs> wow. Lapras really pulled through on that one. Dude, there we go. Oh my god, at this rate, yeah, we're, we're just going to go beat the last Elite Four member for this episode. That sure was a quick battle. Yeah, you, you're you telling me. <laughs> that sure man. was a quick battle. I really suck, don't I? <laughs> man, you sure did kick my ass. <laughs> so, bye bye. Is there a reason why the. Um, what? Sure, you can beat the last of us. Okay. Um, is there a the reason game, why the, the, last of us? The, the dragon area has incense burning? Is there a reason for I that? I think it's that just I don't to know? add to that that mystical nature of things. Okay, I can I get that. It's just her whole gym, either than there being a dragon mounted on the wall, felt more ghost to me. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? I bet you we can do this last battle without Lapras at full health. Wow, cocky. Yeah, yeah I'm uh I'm I'm playing and dangerous. And demonetized because you said the word cock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. We've used that word enough over the years for me to know you don't get demonetized for that. Yeah. <laughs> I said the cock word. <laughs> Damn it. How could you use the cock word? We're only like 19 minutes into the episode. Do you know Hi, the everybody. rules? Welcome to the cock episode. You can't use hard <laughs> swears in the first three minutes, and you can't use the word cock until 20 minutes. Don't you know the YouTube rules? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a rule I forgot. I love the people who only watch the Pokemon challenges who occasionally will like email me and they're like, I'm so happy that you put on such wholesome content. <laughs> like I let my, my son watches all of your Pokemon challenges and I just love that you don't swear in it. I read as I pull at my collar. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon part, Pokemon X part like 35, the cock episode. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's spelling like that they do on the um like on construction sites. Yeah, like like caulking, like you like you're filling up the the gaps in the side of a house or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's like a knight. I like that. I also like that he came down to meet us, and the rest of them I had to walk up to them. Why is he got a star in his head? <laughs> Cause he's stupid. Klefki? <laughs> what kind of knight is Klefki? <laughs> So, the fire room didn't look like shit, did it? No. I think the okay. only, I think the only Elite Four battle that didn't look fucked up is that one. I wonder if it's just the arena. Or, 
I mean, I didn't, like, hit a button that changed the setting when I wasn't looking. I, I haven't even touched my keyboard the whole recording session. It's one of the many reasons why I highly recommend a stream deck. It's got compatibility with OBS on it, so I can just hit record on that. It's really useful. Mm, Especially when you're, I like... Get one. Oh, it's so good when you're recording challenge videos, just on the fly being able to turn on and off recording without, like, tabbing in and out of a game or anything. Very it useful. Also has, it also has flashback recording enabled for Game Capture HD, so it goes back mm -hmm. a certain amount of time uh, and then records from there up until the point you press the button. Yes, and if you're playing a strictly uh, PC game, you can also do that through NVIDIA, sh mm, NVIDIA Shadow Play. It's okay, I can't talk. NVIDIA Shadow Play, which is... Good God, these four stores. It's okay, that's the last one of them. Okay, good. NVIDIA Shadow Play is free with any NVIDIA graphics card that's, like, not even particularly modern anymore. So if you set that up and you remember your hotkey for it, it's great. Um, Brandon, you remember ages ago when we let's play... when we let's play Ride to Hell Retribution? Unfortunately, yeah. That's how Who I doesn't? did that montage. That montage I did at that one point where I lost my save file and replayed the whole game, and I showed you a glitch montage of everything that happened. All I did was replay the whole game. I had set up Shadow Play so that it'll remember the last five minutes, and whenever glitch happened, I would let it play out, then hit the, like, record the past button, and then all I did was go through and edit all those into a montage. It was really, really nice. convenient. Probo Pass is Steel and so Rock? Yeah, and it also has Sturdy, so you can do the Power Up Punch Earthquake tactic if you want to. I like that idea. I, uh, I have an AMD card now, so... Mm don't have shadow play but i think they have an equivalent on there yeah i know they've got an equivalent anime music too. video <laughs> i know that they have a equivalent to um nvidia experience and so it wouldn't surprise me if there's a shadow play like thing bundled with that yeah actually fuck it just use power up punch again yeah it'll kill him it'll what no, no. Okay, no, we're we're not in the beginning of the episode. I can say the kill word. We're good. It will unalive. It'll send it to another dimension. <laughs> I'm gonna send you to another dimension. Send it to the shadow realm. Have I had any reason to do that voice since people started watching this stupid show? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like so how I say it like people really started watch. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. I'll win. I don't know about that. I'll win. Yeah. I'll survive this. It's going to do like one damage. See? One damage. It did like one damage. It's okay. We got, like, all remember, that time you used, remember that time you used toxic on a steel type? Yeah. You remember that one time I tried to punch the thing that I know is a ghost because we definitely talked about it at length earlier in the series? No, nah, not at all. Tyrantrum has earthquake. Yeah, I don't remember that either. Non-canon. <laughs> So Aegislash's gimmick is that it has a protect move uh, called King Shield, which will only defend against uh, damaging moves. But if you hit it with a um, a move that makes direct contact, it'll also lower your attack and I think special attack by two stages. Yeah. That's, that's actually really brutal. Also, I will use Talon Flame. Was this just the last use roost one? over and over, bite him out, and yes. Oh yeah, I could. No, I'm kidding though. Use flame charge. I mean, it'll one shot him, right? Probably. Yeah, it'll take him very close to to zero, if not. Okay, you know it's good enough. Someone else could be faster and hit him. Or he could burn himself on this. Ah. Nah, never It'd mind. be hilarious. Um, <laughs> it, does it really matter? Uh. uh for you, sure. Yeah, just use Sucker Punch. Yeah. Oh, you did when it, it. Whenever it takes really slow like that, I have that little worry, you know? That it's gonna stop right before the end? <laughs> yes. You have defeated me. Ugh. <laughs> this is a direct quote. Ah. Ugh. <laughs> Take my forehead star. I don't want it. 
<laughs> All my power comes from my forehead star. I don't want your power. <laughs> your power sucks. We passed up revives again. Oh, damn it. Hold on. I'm just going to hit the button there. Uh, okay. They're right here. To get to the champion, you need this forehead star. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he just like slaps it on you like a sticker. Channel your inner ninja and throw it at the champion, and you will automatically win. He just holds it out. No, I'm good. I don't actually think I need it. Have you ever gotten to the Pokemon champion, Mr. Forehead Star? I don't think so, because you're back no. here. Ah, uh, death. All right. On the next Don't episode, the everybody, we go into the light. Until next time, have a nice day. Oh, hey, the yeah. time was 2020. Oh, my God. This is being recorded on Christmas Eve, by the way, everybody. <laughs> we got up on our Christmas Eve to record this shit for you guys. Merry Christmas! Yay! Yay. <laughs>